Hari Om kids. In the last session of Adi Guru Shankaracharya, we learned that the child Shankar left home and set out in search of a Brahma Gyani Guru. But where will I find a Brahma Gyani Guru? With that thought in his mind, Shankar moved ahead in his search. Then he remembered that when he was studying in Gurukul, he had once heard from his Guru that the Brahmagyani saint Govinda Pada had been in a state of Samadhi for hundreds of years in a cave on the banks of the river Narmada in Omkareshwar. He decided that he would take initiation into sannyas and his teachings from Guru Govind only. He had heard that the Narmada river was towards the north and thus he started moving towards the north. The distance from Kerala to Omkareshwar in Madhya Pradesh was more than 1,500 kilometers and in those times there were no vehicles. Hence, child Shankar started walking afoot. Whenever he passed by a village, people were struck with wonder to see that a small eight-year-old boy has become a sannyasi. He would take bhiksha or alms from the village in the afternoon and rest under the shade of a tree and sleep in some temple at night. Even a terrifying forest full of dangerous animals, he remained fearless and could even sleep fearlessly. When the paths were full of thorns, the highest mountains and the deepest caves and valleys could not stop Shankar's path. Courageous and fearless, the boy moved towards his goal, overcoming all obstacles. If he met anyone on the way, the Baal Sannasi would ask, which direction is the Narbada in? Do you know Saint Govindapadji? Two months passed for Shankar in this way. Blisters formed on his feet. His body became weak due to hardships of the journey but his enthusiasm and spirit did not lessen. Finally, one day indeed, he reached Omkarnath, and while walking on the banks of the Narmada, let's start today's Balsanskar session by remembering Pooja Gurudev. Now all children will hum Omkar. Hari Now, children, we will do Tratak. Tratak increases our concentration and memory power.
Now let's continue the story of Adi Guru Shankaracharya in search of a guru. Child Shankar walked for two months and reached the Narmada Omkarnath from Kerala. Shankar asked the devotee there, Do you know any great yogi who meditates here? The devotee said, Yes, for many years a great yogi is meditating in a cave on a mountain far away. Upon tendering a thanks to him, child Shankar enthusiastically walked towards the mountain. He saw so many old sannyasis sitting near a cave on the mountain. Shankar bowed down and greeted all the sannyasis and asked politely, Greetings, Mahatman. Does Mahayogi Govindapadji stay in Samadhi here? In a state of meditation, the old sannyasi said, Yes, Pal Sannyasi, Guru Govind is in Samadhi since a hundred years. But who are you and where did you come? And why have you put on a sannyasi attire at such a young age? Shankar said, O oh, Mahatman, a oh, great man, my name is Shankar. I have come from Kerala. I want to take Diksha or initiation from Guru Govindapadji. The old sannyasi said, What did you say? From Kerala? From such a faraway place? And that too alone at such a young age? Shankar said, Yes, Mahatman. All the old sannyasi started looking at each other in surprise. Then one old sannyasi asked, Do you have any knowledge of the scriptures? Or are you just formally put on the sannyasi attire? Shankar said, Mahatman, the religious scriptures are on the tip of my tongue. But what should I showcase my abilities in front of such scholars and old sannyasis? You can ask whatever you want about the scriptures. One by one, all of them asked him many questions, many mysterious questions about the Ramayana, Mahabharata, and Shankar logically answered them all. All of the old sannyasis were surprised to see such wisdom in just a child of eight years, and they were very impressed with child Shankar. The old sannyasi said, Bal sannyasi, you have come from such a far distance to have darshan of Guru Govindapadji. You are blissfully courageous. But no one knows for certain how long Guru Govindapad has been in deep samadhi. We have been sitting here for many years, growing old, hoping for him to come out of samadhi. However, we have not yet had the opportunity to have his darshan or to see him and attend the yogi's satsang or his spiritual discourse. I am unsure whether we are destined to touch his feet and listen to his satsang. Shankar said, Mahatman, please show me the place where that great yogi is sitting in Samadhi. The old sannyasi said, Come, my child, come, child sannyasi. The old sannyasi takes Shankar near a cave and says, Yogi Govindapad is sitting in Samadhi in the cave. The child Shankar entered the cave with the lamp in his hand and saw that Yogi Govindapad was in deep samadhi sitting in Padmasan in a lotus posture. Due to his penance, his body had become like a skeleton, long dreadlocks hanging from his head. His broad forehead shined, a unique light emanated from his body. The child Sannasi was filled with reverence upon seeing the yogi. He bowed down to him, his eyes turned with tearful joy. With folded hands, he sang an invocation in praise in Sanskrit language. The whole cave resounded with the invocation by Shankara. The old sannyasi sitting outside also came inside the cave. Everyone was surprised to see 
that Govindapad's body started pulsating again. He breathed deeply and opened his eyes. All the sannyasis were very happy and hailed Saint Govindapadji. The hundreds of years of samadhi was broken by the arrival of a truly deserving and exquisite child. The news spread very fast all over. Men and women from all the nearby villages started coming to see Saint Govindapad and the Bal Sanyasi. There was a lot of cheering everywhere. Om Karnat became a place of pilgrimage. We will continue the story in the next session. Jay to the devotee and Jay to Bhagwan. Quiz Competition Now's the turn of a knowledge and science competition. You will be asked a question and there will be four options to choose from. You will need to give the right answer in 10 seconds. The question is, where did Acharya Shankaracharyaji establish the Govardhan Mutt beat? A. Kashi B. Puri C. Mathura D. Ayodhya The correct answer to the question will be revealed at the end of the session. The Glory of Indian Culture Dear children, in our last session we learned about the creation of Hiranyagarbha from the five elements. From this supreme egg, the formless Bhagwan first appeared as Virat Purush, a supreme being. From Virat Purush, the sacred hems of the mantras and the Vedas emerged, giving rise to the Rig Ved, Samaved, Yajurved, and Atharva Ved. Virat Purush then created a variety of sentient and insentient objects. From his navel, he formed the Antariksha, or the space between the earth and the heavens. The sun from his eyes, and the direction from his ears, the moon from his mind. Numerous constellations and nebulae of the universe also emerged from him. Afterward, Virat Purush split Hiranyagarbha into two pieces, creating Dukhalog from one piece and Bulog from the other. Virat Purush created Dukhalog as Chaturbhuj, four-handed Narayan Bhagwan Vishnu and reserved Bhulok for humans and other creatures. For a thousand years, Bhagwan Vishnu slept in Yognidra, a deep sleep under a spell of spiritual meditation. During this time, a lotus appeared from his navel of Bhagwan Narayan and Bhagwan Brahma emerged from this lotus flower. In our next session, we will learn about what happened after the birth of Brahmadev. Do's and don'ts. What to do and what not to do. Wearing a tulsi, holy basil necklace, around the neck increases vitality and helps in getting rid of many diseases. Rubbing both palms together and then placing them on the eyes while chanting Om, Om, Om helps maintain good eyesight. The warmth from the rubbed palms transfers healing energy to the eyes. This technique can be applied to any part of the body. If a child has a speech impediment, like stuttering, giving them water stored in a conch shell overnight can help cure it. If one feels weak, soak four dried grapes in water overnight and eat them in the morning. It gives remarkable strength. Activity, that's the turn for the activity. Today's activity is fill in the numbers in the Sudoku puzzle. In the puzzle, there are nine by nine squares and three by three squares inside the square. 
Some squares are already filled with numbers. You need to fill the remaining empty squares with numbers from 1 to 9 in such a way that no number appears again in the horizontal or vertical line, nor again in the 3x3 square. Let's see who gets it right first. All the children will prepare the answer of today's activity and put it in the comment box of the video or show it to the teacher of the Basin Scar Kendra next week. Health tips to protect yourself from the effects of heat. Coconut water. Coconut water cools down the body. It's delicious and refreshing. It quenches thirst when your throat feels dry repeatedly. If you suffer from heat stroke, applying a paste of black cumin seeds mixed with coconut water to the body provides relief. Consuming coconut and drinking coconut water daily boosts physical strength and significantly increases vitality. For a burning sensation during urination, mix grounded coriander leaves and sugar candy mishi, in coconut water. This drink helps to relieve the discomfort. Caution! Do not eat coconut on the 8th day, Ashtami, of the lunar month. Questionnaire. Get ready for the questionnaire. Where did child Shankar set out in search for a Brahmagyani Guru? How much time did it take for child Shankar to find a Guru? Why was the old sannyasi sitting on the mountain? What broke St. Govind Pad's meditation of hundreds of years? What do we learn from today's story? What appeared first from the cosmic form of Virat Purush? How were space, sun, and directions created? What was made from the two pieces of Hiranyagarbha? How did Bhagwan Vishnu appear? How did Bhagwan Brahma appear? By wearing which mala is life force increased? What should be done to remove children's lisp and stammering? What should be done to remove weakness in children? What are the benefits of drinking coconut water? Narayan 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 With this, today's Basin Scar Kendra concludes. We will meet again next week with a new knowledge enhancing topic. Until then, Haryom! The correct answer to the question is B. Acharya Shankaracharyji established the Jyotirmath Peet in India's Odisha region in Puri.